Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel, welcome to Everything Nerd Reviews. And today, we are going to talk about the latest action figure news. But first, if you are new on the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button and comment below for future videos. So the first figure I have to told you, it's the SH Figure Arts Freezer, which is with the pre-orders already open. This figure looks so, so good. It is almost criminal. It will stand a little under 4.5 inches tall and includes several accessories as it's typical of the SH Figuarts brand, including uh, four swap out faces, interchangeable heads and hands, a supernova effects piece and includes also a 5 star Dragon Ball from the Planet Namek. Uh, this figure includes also, of course, uh, his characteristic uh, pod and the interior of the pod includes a specialized lower body uh, so you can disconnect the the legs and waist from the figure and simply snap the body at the top of the pot. This figure uh, will cost around $84 and it is scheduled for release in April 2021. We have also some SH Figuarts Dragon Ball Z reveals coming directly from the Tamashi Nation 2020 virtual event, including a Saiyan Evasion Nappa, a Planet Namek Buma, a Cell Shell, a Proud Saiyan Prince Vegeta, a Super Saiyan Full Power Son Goku, a Yansha, a Tenshinhan, a Chiaoza, a Son Goku's uh, Belly H set, a Hit, a Super Saiyan 2 Son Goku, and a Super Jamemba figures. I am particularly uh, excited about the Super Jamemba and the Hit figures. Uh, the Vegeta one, it's the less exciting in my opinion. We have several uh, Vegeta figures right now from this line. But the Hit and the Jamemba ones really look very, very good. Tell me in, in the comments what is your favorite from these Tamashi Nation reveals. We have also other announcements from this event, including several Marvel SH Figuarts figures which includes an Aryan Patriot, a Thor Avengers Assemble Edition, a Hulk, a Captain America, an Iron Man Mark VI, and a Black Widow. They also announced a Godzilla figure from the 1989 movie and three Pac-Man SH Figuart figures. So these figures look very, very good. My favorite from the Marvel ones is the Hulk figure, I think the face is pretty spot on, it looks very very good. And as the second clause, it's the Iron Man, which I also think is an amazing design for this character. Sideshow Collectibles launched a Batman the Animated Series statue. This one will, will arrive uh, at two different versions, the Standard Collector Edition, limited to 1000 pieces and with a price of $415 and a Sideshow Exclusive Edition with a price of $425 and limited to uh, 600 units. Uh, the Standard Collector Edition is already sold out. Uh, so you now, if you want to buy this statue, you need to go for the Sideshow Exclusive Edition. This one, for an additional $10, will bring an extra hand of Batman holding again. So it's not that expensive from, for an extra accessory and it's a more limited piece. And this statue is already an, in stock and ready to ship. In my opinion, this one looks very, very good. If you are a Batman fan, like it's my case, this statue could be the centerpiece of any collection. The, this resin statue will stand 16 inches tall and looks amazing. I also like very much the base of the statue. Hot Toys announced a Venom Movie one six scale figure. This one is pretty, pretty amazing and will stand nearly 15 inches tall with about 24 points of articulation. Uh, this is uh, scheduled to be released in the first and second quarters of 2022, so we need to wait uh, still uh, a lot of time. But pre-orders are already open with a price of 
$410 announced another Game of Thrones figure. This time will be Jaime Lannister. This one looks also very, very good, very realistic. It will be a fully articulated figure with um, approximately 12 inches tall. And this will be the Jaime Lannister from Season 7. Pre-orders will go live November 11 at 9 a.m. Hong Kong time. So if you, if you want to go for this one, you still have time to plan it. We have also two new Star Wars The Black Series items. So if you are a Star Wars fan, I know you will be excited for this one. Uh, the first one, it's a um, 6 inch Remnant Trooper figure by Hasbro. This will cost uh, approximately uh, $20 and will be available at the fall 2020. And we have also the figure or the accessory that I am more, more excited about. It will be a Mandalorian electronic helmet. Uh, this one will have a retail price of $119.99 and will be available at 2021 for the springtime. These ones look very, very good, especially the helmet. I know that any Star Wars fan uh, will want this one. And the price for this one, I think is not uh, that crazy if the quality is right like we can see here in these images. Super 7 announced four SpongeBob SquarePants reaction figures. This one looks very, very good. Very realistic from what we see in the, ser in the series. These retro style figures will have about five points of, of articulation and will include specialized card backs. This assortment of figures includes SpongeBob, Patrick, Mr. Krabs and Skidward. And these figures are priced at $18 each. Prime One Studio announced a Lord of the Rings The Two Towers Legolas statue. This one will cost $999 and pre-orders are already open. This one will stand 30 inches tall and uh, depicts Legolas with a bow hand as he draws arrows back during the battle. This one looks very very good, looks amazing. As you can see the base is also pretty detailed. I really love this one. Of course it's a little pricey for uh, some uh, people, of course, but for this statue, I think this one worth every penny. So if you are a Lord of the Rings fan and have this type of money, go for it, because I certainly, I will certainly do if I have this type of money. We have also from Hot Toys, a scale Mandalorian and the child figures. The Mandalorian stands over 18 inches tall, while the child stands a little over 3.5 inches tall. And these two are expected to be re released at the end of 2021 or at early 2022, at a price of $545 for the Mandalorian figure and for a price of the child of $175. We will have also a DX set priced at $655, which will include several accessories like an heavy repeating blaster accessory and a diorama display base. This diorama will feature various elements from the show, including nodes to IG-11, a Mandalorian helmet and a Mythosaur skull signet. So, pretty cool. Two Marvel Select Carnage and Venom figures by their own select toys are already available at Shop Disney. These figures will have multiple interchangeable hands and heads and swap out tendrils and they are priced at $24.99 each. So it's a pretty cool price. As you can see, the figures are pretty little. In my opinion, the Carnage one looks uh, a little uh, better than the Venom. Uh, I really prefer the Venom from the Marvel uh, Legends uh, line, but this Carnage looks very, very good. We have also two Marvel Legends news. The first one, it's a J. Jonah Jameson for the Marvel Legends Retro Collection. This one looks amazing, and if you are a Spider-Man collector, you'll really need this one in your collection. I know I want this one. 
The price will be $19.99. He arrives with four different accessories and it will be available at the fall 2020. The next one, it's a Marvel Legends series War Machine Electronic Helmet. This one, it's in real scale and it's similar to the other uh, Marvel Heroes helmets that we have uh, seen uh, already on the market. Uh, this one will be uh, will be priced at $19.99 and will be available also at the fall 2020. Hasbro announced another Mandalorian figure with 3.75 inches tall. This figure includes an Amban rifle and a pistol. It looks very very good and will have a retail price of $12.99 being available at the spring 2021 and pre-orders are already open at Amazon. Waxwork Records announced a They Live Alien Politician Spinature. This figure will be a mini bust with 4 inches tall and the Alien's Politician is priced at $24 being expected to be released in February. Pre-orders are already opened in the Waxwork Records so, if you are a fan of this movie, just go for it. NECA announced the final packaging for the Pan's Labyrinth The Old Fun figure. This one looks amazing, will be a 7 inches tall figure and will have a deluxe window box packaging with a brand new artwork to match. So, if you are a fan of this movie, this one is a must have. I really like this movie, the figure looks amazing and I really like these NECA window boxes. I think it's the perfect package for the inside of the box collector. Toy Sapiens announced a new collection called the Marvel Heroic Hands Collectibles. These ones will include hands from your favorite heroes like Iron Man, Spider-Man and Deadpool with realistic size. Uh, they are cast in resin and will be exclusive to Japan with a price of $145 and are expected to be released at the end of this month. NECA announced the final packaging for the Misfits Holiday Fin 8-inch clothed figure. This one looks amazing and is shipping out to retailers at the end of the month. It will include an extra face, a Christmas bag and uh, two extra hands. Uh, this figure will stand 8 inches tall and it is a very poseable figure as is typical of uh, NECA. McFarlane Toys has announced that they will be producing figures based on the Witcher TV series. So if you are a fan of this series, these figures certainly will be for you. Uh, as you know, if you follow the channel, in my opinion, McFarlane Toys are the best price quality figures we have right now. So if the quality and the price of these figures are really uh, what we are uh, paying right now for McFarlane figures, these ones will be is certainly great additions to your collection. Premium Collectible Studio announced two M. Bison statues from Street Fighter. These ones will stand 29 inches tall and 19.5 inches wide. They both look very very good. The price for each statue will be $1,200 and the estimated shipping date will be between July and September 2021. If you want to buy the two statues, you could buy the two of them as a set for a price of $2,400. NECA announced a The Minor 8 inch figure from the 1981 movie My Bloody Valentine. You could get this figure uh, in two versions as a standalone figure or as a deluxe steelbook Blu ray and figure together bundle. The price of the first one will be $39.99 and the deluxe steelbook will be uh, at $68.97. This figure is limited to 4,000 4, pieces, so if you are a fan of this movie, uh, just go for it. I think that for uh, 4,000 pieces limited uh, edition, the price is not that crazy. Incendium are with pre-orders open right now for three new figures. These figures will include Death from Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, The Creep from the Creep Show TV series and Death Dealer from Frank Frazita. 
These figures are 5 inches each and, of course, are inspired by classic cartoons and toys of the 90s. And these figures will be priced at $29.95 each. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you are new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button because that helps immensely the channel. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next video.